Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, my name is David of course and I just wanted to preface the following video with this is my first tutorial so uh, if you have any suggestions or ways to make it better or things that you think work or didn't work please let me know. Um, <clears throat> I really want to make quality tutorials and really kind of showcase Photoshop and uh, educate people effectively so if you have any suggestions for me or positive critique or what have you, please do leave it in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, the following is my first tutorial, so please forgive any shortcomings it may have. Uh, hopefully it's helpful to you and you enjoy it. And without further ado, here's the video. Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial for Adobe Photoshop CC. Uh, today I am going to show you some basic functionality of the magic wand tool. Now I was watching a tutorial recently and uh, the gentleman who was doing the tutorial kind of glossed over the magic wand tool as a tool that not many people use. However, I would disagree. Um, it's actually one of my favorite tools when it comes to selections in Photoshop because it really allows you to specify what colors you do and don't want to be selected. So, for example, I have this image right here of just a yield sign and this, you know, street sign and whatnot. So the first thing, obviously, that we're going to want to do is select the magic wand tool. Now that is this guy right here. And if you hover over it, you can see magic wand tool. Uh, the keyboard shortcut, by the way, is the W key. So if you click the magic wand tool, um, if you don't see it, by the way, it will be hidden underneath the quick selection tool. So by default, the quick selection tool shows. Um, if you just click and hold right on it, you can see the magic wand tool is revealed to us. So if you click that, what this allows you to do is click on specific colors in the image and it will select those colors. So let's say uh, I don't like this yield sign being red. Well, no problem. Just click it, and boom, selected the red color. Um, let's just say I wanted to make this yellow for some reason. No problem. It's yellow. I did that really quickly. Um, I didn't necessarily expect you all to follow that, nor do I expect this to be a very good result. I just wanted to show you kind of how it works. So, if we delete some of that, uh, move backwards in the uh, file a little bit. This is the original image. Now, the reason that the person said it wasn't a great tool was because if you click here to select the red, okay, great, you've got a red selection. What can you do now? Let's say you want to also select the green of these two signs up here. Well, no problem, you just click the green. Oh, wait a minute, it deselected the red. That's not what I want at all. Well, that is because the magic wand tool looks at this image and says, okay, well, you've selected red, right? We have red selected. Okay, well, now we also want to select green, but the magic wand tool thinks, oh, okay, they made a mistake, they clicked on the red when they actually meant to click on the green which is a perfectly legitimate assumption, except that it's not a mistake. We actually want to select both. There's a very easy way around this. All you have to do is click on the red to select it, and then hold the shift key and click on the green. And boom, now you're telling Photoshop that I want to select this and this color. And you can do that. Um, you can even select the wall of this building uh, or maybe the sky. I don't know. Really, uh, whatever you need to select. So that's why I actually really like this tool. Um, it allows you to really uh, specify exactly what you want selected. Now, it doesn't necessarily work 100% of the time. I t actually think this is a better tool to use than the quick selection tool. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the quick selection tool, which is this one right here. But um, the reason I like this one so much is let's say, for example, you wanted to select this lawn down here, the grass. Well, if we zoom in, and forgive the poor image quality, um, and go back to the magic wand tool, you can see by clicking here, it only selects the areas of green that it thinks are appropriate for the selection. So for example, it's missed this little area right here. It's missed this entire lawn section. Uh, that could be a bad thing. But again, using the same technique, if you just hold the shift key, click here, boom, it's selected. Click over here, no problem. Now, obviously this is a really bad selection. It's not a very good image, but it, it kind of proves the point that you really can actually select quite a lot um, 
And in some cases, very specifically, as we saw up here with the red, it actually does a pretty good job of selecting color, especially, um, as you can see here, there's a pretty hard edge delineating white and red. Um, it does a pretty good job, actually, when you have that, uh, that hard edge. Um, if it's a little bit more blurry, let's say, for example, the, this tree section over here, um, if you click on the green here, it's not going to do as great a job. Um, you could try to kind of, well, that really selected a lot. Um, <laughs> you can sort of get an idea for where it's going to select. And obviously, this is going to be a tricky thing to select no matter what you do. Uh, but yeah, that was just kind of a quick little uh, overview of the Magic Wand tool. Um, let me know if you have any other uses that you use it for or if you have any other processes of processes, sorry, of color selection that you think work uh, equally or better than that. And uh, if you have any comments or critiques for my future videos, this is of course my first video tutorial. So if you have any suggestions, uh, ways to make it better, or things you'd like to see me cover in the future, feel free to leave those in the comments section. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to some of you, and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.